Dumb.com here for the magic man. Yes, he's gonna show you how to fix your Chromebook by Google. guys today we're working on a Samsung Chromebook XC 500 C 13 and uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the forced enterprise enrollment and downgrade to Chrome uh, to, to Chrome OS version uh, basically 53 uh, anything above that makes it so you can't bypass uh, bypass uh, and go into developer mode to uh, change the serial number or get into uh, the terminal so what things you'll need for this are going to be a Phillips screwdriver, PH000, a pair of tweezers. Uh, you need to download Chrome operating system version 8530.93.0. In this case, it's the Celeste system. You need to download the Chromebook recovery utility, and you're going to need a 4 gig USB or SD. Uh, card or larger and we'll start off by showing you how to do that you go down into the chrome uh, store and download the recovery utility and uh, click on the link below to actually download the operating system that you're going to need the downgraded or lower oper lower version um, once you do that you're going to insert your usb stick and then you click here on the settings use local image and then you're going to go into your downloads folder and uh, basically it's going to be this bin file right here and click on that and let it do its thing it takes about uh, I think about 10 minutes and it'll put it uh, on the USB stick so that's that's with that so next we're going to go into the computer that is locked in student mode or enterprise uh, enterprise mode uh, first thing we're going to do is remove the eight screws in the back. There's one, two, three, four. Six, seven, I guess there's some, sorry, there's nine screws in the back. Not eight, okay, so you got nine screws right there. Okay, now to remove the cover, and what I do is I grab it right here my finger and just pop it off it's just one of those clips okay move the cover next we're going to unplug the battery and I'm just going to do this right here I just pop it off Okay, we're going to move the battery like that. You don't need to take it out, just leave it unplugged. Uh, next, you're going to unplug all the sensors. And there's one right here. You just pop up the little black tab. And pull the strip out. Same as this one right here. This is your second one. There's a third one right here for your touchpad. And sometimes you need the tweezers here to get it out. Okay, this little speaker right here. Go ahead and unplug that. And the last one is right here for the display. You pop a little uh, metal clip and slide it out just like that. Okay, so now we got everything unplugged and we're gonna remove the three screws from the bracket holding in the USB and power. There's one. And all these screws are the same, so don't worry about mixing them up. You're gonna actually end up with one extra screw at the end. So drop those like that. Okay, 
once we move the screws, this slides out on from this side right here. We'll just lift it up a little bit and slide it out. Next, you need to remove, remove this screw right here. This screw right here. And the top one for holding in the motherboard. And then there's one hidden screw right here. So we're going to remove that. Okay. Next, we're going to remove the motherboard. And lift it up on this side and slowly be careful not to break it. Pop out the side right here. And just like that, remove it. Now, on, the, on this one, I've already moved the, the read and write screw, but basically, there used to be a screw right here. And uh, I, bas I removed it and took it out. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove it and, and leave the screw over here on the side. And then we're going to replace the motherboard, put it back in. So just like that. Drop back in, be careful of the cables. And we don't have to put everything back in, but we do need to connect all the wires. So this is the accessory. There's this one. Make sure these lines right here line up. So I'd say you know if you popped them in. This one, I always forget about, but this is your touchpad. So make sure you got this one in. And uh, this one is these little tabs that you pop up. Slide it in. Like that. Pop back down. Okay, this one is the trickiest one, but uh, after a few tries you get it. You just put it down like this. With the wire you push it in like that. And pop the tab back over. Okay, and the speaker. Not as important, but I like to do it anyway. Okay, now for the cover. Pop this cover in right here. And we're going to just put a few screws in to hold. Do not plug the battery back in. Okay, so just put one screw here. Put one screw right here. And this one. Okay. So that's it. Now let's put the cover on just so we don't damage anything. Alright. So we're going to flip it over. This is going to be basically step eight. Oops, sorry, I wasn't numbering them all, but uh, we're going to plug in the AC. Using the cord here. Plug the AC in and when the computer starts booting, or you can even do it right now, hold escape, refresh, and power. And it'll get it to restart into basically uh, a mode that says uh, that your operating system is damaged or missing. Don't worry, it's not. Okay. Next, we're going to pop in uh, the USB. And it'll give you, bring you into this recovery mode. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead right here. So you don't have to watch, wait for it to finish all the way through before you do anything. <laughs> 